Okay, I think this is one of the last videos for chapter 20. Uh, and again, this is one you guys have seen. So this is the lithium aluminum hydride reduction of carboxylic acid derivatives. You've seen this with esters. In chapter 12, and then I, it's discussed again in chapter 19, we talk about reducing an ester with LAH. Okay, so uh, again, this is going to be two additions. We're going to add H minus twice. The other thing to think about over here uh, what am I doing? Let's just put it this way. Esters and amides don't react with sodium borohydride. The other carboxylic acid derivatives, thioesters and hydrides, acid chlorides, it's a little, it's a little different of a question. So there are, some, there are some strange reagents, and I think the book goes into a little too much detail on this point. There are some strange reagents that can react with some of those more reactive acid der derivatives and give you an, an, uh, an aldehyde directly. But basically, you should just assume carboxylic acid derivatives are not going to react with sodium borohydride, that you have to use lithium aluminum hydride. I'm not going to ask you for the mechanism for this reaction, but I want to show it just to explain why you get two additions. So we're going to have right, we have aluminum hydride, uh, so an aluminum bonded to four H's a full negative charge. That full negative charge is distributed around the H's. And the aluminum hydrogen bond is really polar. All right, so most that almost all of that negative charge is on the H's. So the H is going to react like uh, uh, a negative. It's going to add in. And this is really an irreversible step. If oxygen ends up bonded to the aluminum, So you're not going to reverse that by kicking H minus out. And now, what does happen, though, uh, the oxygen, you can picture this as the O minus. The book shows that as an O minus. But the O aluminum electrons make a double bond, and then the isopropyl group, the isopropoxy group, ends up on the aluminum. And you get an aldehyde. And then an aluminum that's bonded to now this reagent, right? This is still a negative charge on that aluminum reagent. And now that oxygen is actually drawing more of the more of the electron density onto itself. So those hydrogens are now a little less reactive. But this is no longer a carboxylic acid group. It's an aldehyde, right? Aldehydes are really susceptible to nucleophilic attack. They're extremely reactive. They're, they're the most reactive of the carbonyl compounds to nucleophilic attack. And so another hydrogen adds in twice, or adds in again. And like I said, you end up now with a couple more H's here, two H's added on there. And, and so what will happen when you protonate Right, when you protonate, both oxygens will take a proton from the, from the water or whatever acid you provide, and then the aluminum will bond to the oxygen in the water. All right, so you're going you're gonna to break your ester. You're going to break your ester into two alcohols. You're going to get a primary alcohol from the carbonyl. Right? That carbonyl carbon is going to get two hydrogens and turn into a primary alcohol. And then whatever your leaving group is, again, I've shown an ester. I probably should have shown a, a, a nitrogen or something. This group could be, a, this could be an amide. It could be an ester. It could be a thioester. It could be an acid chloride, whatever. Um, the hydrogen will add in. And then we're going to get an aldehyde. The key to this, the understanding this reaction is one of your products is an aldehyde. And aldehydes are extremely reactive to nucleophilic attack, so that hydrogen just adds in again. It's exactly like in the Grignard reaction Right, the Grignard adds in, you kick out a leaving group, and now you have a ketone. Well, ketones are a lot more susceptible to nucleophilic attack than are esters, and so that ketone is going to react faster than the ester. This aldehyde is going to react way faster than the ester did. 
All right, so there's no way to just say, well, we're going to add one equivalent, and we're only going to add in once, and we'll get the aldehyde, right? This aldehyde's going to react. So anytime you have a carboxylic acid derivative and lithium aluminum hydride, you're going to get a double reduction. You're going to get two hydrogen additions. And so that carbonyl is going to turn into a primary alcohol. 